but look at this. Jarvin almost able to find Tristana, but then the Janna to the rescue. Here comes Cho'Gath. Nom, 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 nom. Trying to find Pac-Man, but it's still going over the Janna. He's going to end up taking their effort to be very well inside of IDK. Featherstorm coming out takes also another huge chunk out of IDK. He's going to end up picking off Infernatus, followed up by... Ooh, he finally gets the hook, and there's no flash on this Lulu. Are they going to be opponents able to put through? There's no Ignite to follow up. Zaya versus Lulu, and it's Twitch versus Stress. Twitch under the tower, the last auto comes through, and here comes Jarvin trying to bring it through. And there is Zaya going to be going down. That is a double kill for the Twitch. Aaron Yodroid Yoder, and uh, here with my co-caster. I am Quinn Magecats Farrar. Nice to meet all of you. And welcome to a fantastic day of League of Legends, or rather a fantastic night. It is 8.30 here uh, in the Eastern Time Zone, so wherever you're watching this from, uh, you're, you're in for a good, some good action. Uh, Purdue and IUK, both really good teams. Um, I'm interested to see how this turns out. I haven't really seen much of both of them, but uh, it looks like Sam is their main... Uh, source of, I would say, damage, or, mm -hmm. uh, I would say leader. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, from what I've seen, I mean, I've seen these two teams play before, and, um, it's pretty interesting. Uh, like, the, the, the carries that I've seen out of, uh, Purdue, mainly Gungu and Sam. Um, <clears throat> so, Gungu, uh, I really, I'm really hoping he gets a Zach here because Zach is uh, easily one of his strongest uh, champions. Um, it's one of the ones he's played the most. It's, it's, he's absolutely, he can absolutely demolish teams on that. Um, so if they, if IUK lets him pick that here, I think they're going to be in for a really rough time. Especially, I mean, because we're sitting here in the tank meta uh, yet again for League. Um, him being one of the biggest damage dealing tanks. It's going to be a lot for them to be able to handle. Um, okay. We have a Lulu locked in here, so that's probably going to be control support for the bot lane, but could flex top. Yeah, I actually, I, I really do think that's going to end up in the bot lane. Um, their top laner, uh, let's see, Thieves, typically hasn't really shown on the Lulu, at least not from my research. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess it's an option. Um, you've got Cho'Gath. I'm supposed I'm, I'm supposed it's gonna actually go straight to Modu's headbutt. Um, so also a really strong pick right now. The changes that they made to Cho'Gath are absolutely terrifying. Um, the fact that now you can instantly or you can infinitely stack your uh, health is is just it's it's that's it's nice. barbaric. Yeah, that's that doesn't seem like you would. Uh, Clever choice by Rito, but uh, yeah, uh, Tristana is a high S tier ADC right now. So mm -hmm. I can understand the pickup by there, especially. Yeah, I don't get the con pick. Is... Um, oh, Kane, yeah, Kane. Oh, um, Kane is a really strong jungler right now, too. I mean, so you build a lot of um, those like hybrid tank damage items, so like Black Cleaver, Sterics Gauge, that sort of thing. Um, so you can, you can make him fairly tanky and also extremely effective in team fights with him, uh, having the knockup available. He's got a lot of movement with the dash. Um, on top of that, in the jungle, he's just really hard to beat with his, uh, his clear. Um, he can invade fairly safely because, you know, he'll, he'll jump in, um, take out your, uh, he'll jump in, uh, you know, smite your camp and then just float out um through the wall and you really can't you can't take care of that especially with uh the gragas pick which i'm assuming is actually going to go on to infernatus um it's going to be difficult for for uh infernatus to really compete uh if he happens to get invaded on 
So that's going to be one thing that uh, that IUK is going to have to be looking out for. So that's where vision control comes in. It's going to be really important being able to make sure, you know, you can see Kane coming. Because if you can see Kane coming, you're probably going to get out okay. I get you. We have two ADC bans from IUK. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Looks like they're really afraid of that Kog'Maw, which, um, yeah, Sam has uh, shown he's, he's able to play extremely well. Well, not only um, that, but they hovered it. <laughs> well, there's that too. Yeah, I think uh, so. These teams do have a lot of history. Um, so they've been playing in the same um, tournaments for the past I don't even know how long, a couple years. Um, a lot of these team members haven't changed in a while. Um, so I mean, they they know who the other team is going to end up going. They know who the the picks are. They know um, the matchups that they're looking at. Uh, those uh, those those Kogmas and the uh, the Jinxes. Uh, I'm actually surprised there was no Jinx ban. I'm surprised there was no Jinx pick as someone who's a Jinx main. Mm -hmm. I'm slightly sad to see that, but uh, with the Zaya up, I guess they're going to choose that over. I guess with the Blitzcrank mm -hmm. being there, the ulti does make a good escape. Yeah. yeah, I mean, plus you've got, I mean, you've got the Cho'Gath, you've got, um, you know, Tristana with the the point blank ultimate. I mean, like, or with the uh, point and click ultimate. Um, you know, Gragas, since they've got so much lockdown, so much um, uh, mobile, honestly, mobile CC, um, having the Zaya pick to just be a little bit more safe was uh, a really good choice. Ooh, and then we've got the Ari pick up for Mastin looks here. So uh, I know he's he's also shown up pretty well on the uh, Ari as well. Um, however, he is going against Holy Carp on the Vladimir, so... Um, I, I don't know. That's gonna be it's gonna be a rough uh, a rough lane for Mastin unless he's able to get out uh, level six unless he's able to really move, remove himself from lane level six. I don't know if he's gonna be able to really stand toe to toe with uh, Holy Carp after he builds um, his uh, uh, Spirit Visage. I don't think he's gonna be able to to really stay there much longer. So his strength is gonna be definitely in roaming and picking up the kills on the bot side. That way they can shove down those tower those turrets with Tristana. So if they can get Tristana out of lane, they might be able to make some bigger moves around the map to start taking objectives, you know. Yeah, definitely. So with, uh, mm -hmm. larger map, especially with larger map mobility on mm -hmm. one team rather than the other. Well, Cho'Gath yeah. can just lock down a lane. Yeah, exactly. So that's super exciting. All right, guys. Well, it looks like we do have a three minute delay here. Um... Do you know if we're going on uh, break or if we're going to uh, go ahead and entertain people through this? That's probably a weird question to ask, huh? Yeah, we can we can go back to talking about monitors, I guess. I guess so, yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> yeah, you... <laughs> <laughs> um, oh man, yeah, the, okay, that nine monitor setup that you were talking about sounds like both atrocious and, and fantastic. Um... Because I don't, I feel like my brain would actually melt from that much light uh, well, in my face. He, it was like all core, like yeah, choreographed. So it was six of them were playing CS, while the other three top ones were either stats about his teammates or opponents. Uh -huh. I'm like, how do you like get time to just look up? Is it like yeah. during buy or? <laughs> I mean, I guess so. I guess it's like, okay, so League, you know, you tab, and you're like, okay, what's everybody bought? Um, you know, how many kills are, who's feeding? Um, but this way, you can just, I don't know, you have your you have your uh, op.gg up, and you're just, like, looking at live stats of people? I don't know. It seems, it seems <laughs> real, like, sketchy. Like, the type of crap that people get banned for. Um, you just have their, like, Twitch stream up or whatever while you're doing it. Oh, man. Uh, dude, I've been ghosted twice, work. and it feels weird. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not good enough to be ghosted. Right. <laughs> Why are you doing this? What is the point? Why are you even here? Yeah, how far back do you usually set your delay? Like, did you start setting it back further? It's, after no, happened? not even. I'm like, it's still at five seconds. <laughs> like, if you want to ghost me, go for it. Yeah. Oh, man, that is ridiculous, man. Um... Yeah, dude, I, I thought it was funny. I, for a while, I was like, you know what? I'll get into streaming. It'll be cool. And then I realized I don't have, like, the, the physical skill to get above, like, you know, uh, uh, silver. Um, so there was no point. If anything, what I was going to do was just have complete troll games. Um, and that was, that was all. I, but then I know I would immediately get banned. So 
and I don't want to. I don't want to spend the time to level that many accounts up to level thirty. You know. Um, yeah. So that's because that just sounds like a that sounds like the worst kind of grind that you could possibly. That's have. why you just like you have fun. You have fun and like just flex. Yeah. Huh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, no yep. one really cares about flex. At least I don't care, nor do my friends. So right. That's, that's it's funny that that's kind of what it turned with. into. Yeah. Like, it's funny that that's what, kind of what it turned into, because, like, I mean, they had they had originally planned for it to be, uh, like, a substitute for um, uh, for teams, uh, like, yeah. like uh, team ranked. Mm -hmm. And then everybody stopped caring completely. They were like, you know what? Screw it. Because as soon as you get people playing with their friends... They're not going to take the game seriously at all, you know. Um, oh, yeah, I mean, like I, I think I my group friend groups of friends we had a team back when teams was a thing, and we we got up yeah. to like gold two. All right, yeah, mainly because yeah. we had three diamonds, and I was just a lazy person. Right, <laughs> <laughs> you were just like carry me. <laughs> like yeah, I'll play pseudo ADC while our top lane vein pops off. Right, right, of course. It's the support ADC that you're really looking for. So you play Varus, and you just ult in the team fight. That's I, I played Ash, and I would just, like, oh. ulti across the map. Yeah. See Same lane. thing. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. You just go ahead and ult, and that's it. You're just a mobile ult, and you can slow people down. Um, oh, man, for the longest time, I didn't realize that Ash's, uh, Ash's auto attacks now, like, the slow scale scales with crit, I had no idea. And so, like, when she first came out, like, I was still building... Um, like I was building crit and I was like, why is it, why doesn't it look like I'm, you know, critting for anything? Like why, how come my crit isn't, you know, as insane as what I thought it should be? And I go, yeah. oh yeah, by the way, that's right. She's specifically meant to run backwards. <laughs> like <laughs> that's the one mechanic that, that, uh, Ash still has. Um, it was funny seeing her like, uh, when, uh, the, uh, utility ADC was really big. Um, when, uh, people really started playing, you know, it was, it was, Pretty much exclusively Varus and um, and Ash were really the only viable uh, bot laners because they were the only ones that could like avoid getting picked off by uh, the assassin mid laners. Um, I think that was that was about the same time that they uh, brought out Duskblade, wasn't it? I think it was. That was right. Yeah. yeah. Like back I... when Duskblade had the pop. Yeah, I loved that. Oh gosh, I but, missed uh, that. It looks I like we have uh, Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, uh, it good. looks like we have both lanes, uh, both teams that are going to be setting up bot side. Uh -huh. IUK is going to be invading. Yeah, that's, uh, oh wait, I'm actually not even in yet. You're oh, in. that sucks, yeah. Go yeah, first blood of Varus on the Blitzcrank. Ooh. Oh, nice. Unfortunate turn of events we have. It looks like IUK is not going to get anything for their troubles. Yikes. That's really too bad. Um, because they kind of needed all the help they could get here in the beginning. Um, like, they've got a... Oh, there we go. I'm in. Um, yeah, no, they've got a really rough match ahead of them. So that was actually kind of a ballsy move, trying to go in with the Blitzcrank. Um, I don't entirely know why they thought that they could pull off uh, such a cheesy move. Like, Purdue has the experience to know, all right, they've got Blitzcrank. We've played enough solo queue to know that he's going to try to pull something over, somebody over the wall. You know, yeah. um, yeah, it's, that's just going to snowball. The, that's just going to snowball the flag into the yeah, area. Exactly. That's going to yeah, that's going to be really rough for uh, Mastiner in the middle lane. Um, like, cause uh, see, that gives Vlad already a two stacks on his dust on his dark seal, and yeah, he's got those uh, two stacks. I think he got so. boots. Yep, and boots. So I mean, so he's going to be a lot harder to hit with those skill shots and harass. Um, I don't know. That was, uh, that was a questionable call. Ooh, alright. I'm, I'm really hoping that, uh, Lost Person on the Blitzcrank, though, can, uh, pull off a few of these hooks. He is actually their, uh, lowest ranked member. Um, so, uh, he's gonna have a pretty tough time playing against, um, Fredo, who I believe is... Diamond 3? I mean, so he knows all the tricks, right? Like, he knows, all right, don't walk too close to the bush. Don't walk out from behind the uh, minions. Ooh, nice pull there from Lost Person. Looks like there is the uh, Q burning down on Sam. Not going to actually finish him off, but that was a lot of damage coming down on him. That's both pots out of mint. That has pot lane. Yeah. <laughs> both of them are going to have to play a little bit more defensively. Ooh. Good trades going on in the mid lane. Whoa, Ignite, Azari! 
Ooh. Is it a kill? No, it doesn't look like it. Nope, not quite. Yeah, Masson's gonna get away with his life, but uh, Holy Carp, that gives Holy Carp a little bit of time to be able to farm himself up in the mid lane, uh, pick up a few more of that uh, CS, which, yeah, that puts Masson even further behind. And this is the invade that I was telling you about, right? Um, so Gungu can just use the wall, slide right in, and there's not a whole lot that uh, Infernatus is gonna be able to do about it. So he's gonna have to get out of here. There's not a whole lot of... Uh, there's not a whole lot he can do to protect his uh, red at this point. He's gonna have to hand that one over. It's gonna be even worse if it gets handed into the Vlad. Yeah, that's gonna be really bad. Ooh, good snare. Yikes! All right, yeah, that was a that was a really solid snare coming out of uh, Sam on the bot side. Still more fighting over this red buff. Looks like uh, Gungu attempting to get away. Uh, they're gonna look for a fight though. Uh, Gungu dashing in on Mudo, use headbutt, he's gonna pick up that kill for himself, Infernatus might also be in trouble there, yep, uh, looks like it's gonna get picked up by an auto attack from Thieves, uh, handing over three kills in, uh, or two kills just, just in that short amount of time, that's three kills in about, what, minute and a half? Yeah. Yikes, uh, and that's gonna be just helping Purdue snowball that much farther ahead. Um, yeah, there's not a whole lot that uh, IUK is going to be able to do, is able to do at all, really, to protect against these invades. Um, I mean, like I said, I mean, you pick up the cane specifically to be able to counter jungle, right? Because um, he's really good at abusing uh, abusing junglers that are not great early, that don't have a whole lot of health early, right? Um, and especially somebody like Gragas, who doesn't have a lot, who doesn't have a, um, a point and flick or anything that he can use to hit him through the wall. Um, it's just, it's not great, but I think Infernatus, if he's able to, uh, keep that vision up, he might be able to at least avoid Gungu. I think that's the name of the game there for him, is just avoid Gungu and, you know, farm up once you hit level 6, um, then you can try to visit your lanes a little bit, but until then, his lanes are going to be a little bit, uh, out of luck. Well, he's not gonna take your advice, he's gonna try to jump bot side. Yeah, I guess so, except they uh, have the teleport coming in from Thieves. He's gonna end up tagging Infernatus, who's gonna have to keep walking away. Teleport coming down. I think I used to fight this. But, uh, yeah, there's the uh, knockup going on to Thieves. He's gonna have to try to get out. Knockup follow up from. Ooh! Uh, Mudo use headbutt is going to lead to a kill. It looks like they're gonna continue jumping in here. Pseudo looks like he might be in trouble. Nope. Uh, they're gonna go ahead and take down Sam, and looks like there's another kill going over to IUK. That was a fantastic play! And we're right wow. back to even! Uh, yeah! Wow, that was, uh, fast! That was extremely fast. I, wow! Uh, yeah, it looks like Purdue got a little bit ahead of themselves. It might also mean first tower blood down here, uh, on the bot side for IUK. They're gonna be able to chunk that down. They've got four members, plus with a Tristana. They're gonna be able to pick this up, no problem. A good chunk of gold heading over to them. Putting them ahead, uh, putting them even in gold right now. So, wow. That that was one hell of a fight. Yeah, it was. <laughs> See, what I think happened there was, um, so you had, uh, you had, um, uh, Infernatus coming around the backside, right? Um, Sam and Fredo were looking to back out. They were like, okay, well, you know, obviously we can't take this. Uh, I think they got the call from Thieves to go ahead and stay in. It looked like they were turning it around at first, but then they stopped respecting the, um... They didn't respect the teleport in from, uh, Mudo used headbutt, and that's what really turned the fight around for them. By the time that Gungu was able to get in, uh, the damage was kind of already done, their, uh, really heavy damage was gone, and there wasn't really anything they could, they could do about it. There wasn't any, any way for them to pull it around, so, um... Yeah, uh, mis miscalculation coming out of them. Ooh, uh, a little bit of damage coming down here onto Holy Carp. There's the Whoa, Ignite there's... and the Ultimate. There's the pop. <laughs> Holy Carp gonna pick up a kill for himself. That ends up, uh, that, that gives him a nice chunk of gold. Again, snowballing this, uh, mid lane even further. Uh, so even with the, uh, amount of, uh, advantages they're able to pick up on the bot side, it, it still doesn't do a whole lot for, uh, Mast in the mid lane. Like, the truth, he still had, uh, he still had, uh, the, the kills going over to Holy Carp, uh, in the very beginning. Ooh, 
Nice pull out. Uh, he saw the kills going o over to Holy Carp in the beginning, so Mastin going back to the mid lane um, is still pretty much a death sentence for him, you know. Purdue looking like they want to try to get this top lane down, but just leaving. Yeah, they were trying to they were trying to organize something, but it looks like they weren't actually able to get everybody in position fast enough, especially because they don't have eyes on Gungu right now. And they don't even really have eyes uh, in their bot side jungle except for that one ward. So. Yep, just gonna get a lane rotation. Oh! Yep. There we go. It was the grab from Lost Person. Uh, following up that pool extremely nicely. Gonna net them another kill. Uh, that goes on to Mastin, I believe. Actually, that one uh, looks like it went over to uh, Infernatus. So that was pretty nice. They're gonna be looking to take down this mid lane turret. Uh, they might be able to do a lot of damage. Gungu sitting off in the wings. Looks like he's just going to be content trying to take uh, that Raptor camp as fast as he can. And there's nothing he can do to be able to save, save his mid tower. Yeah, that would have been a 1v4. Not very smart. Something you'd see in high elo, but... <laughs> yeah, um, I, I, not really something that I was expecting this early in the game from IUK. They're playing this a lot better than I hoped that I figured they would. Ooh, looks like a flash for flash. Lost person uh, doesn't quite land the hook there, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Freddo is not going to be able to use that for a while. It's down for another five minutes. All right, this might be top tower for them too. Infernatus looking to zone off Sam. Sam trying to fight this. Featherstorm coming out, gets nabbed up by Lost Person. Pseudo gonna be able to gun down Sam, no problem. Mastin running for his life, trying to make sure that he doesn't die to those turret shots. It's gonna be very low. Ooh, the ultimate landing onto him. He might actually be dead here. There we go. Uh, <laughs> that was yeah, the heal out Triss. Yeah, it was. Um, he tried, but it, there just wasn't enough that he could do there. That is three towers down for IUK in the first 10 minutes. Uh, Thieves is gonna be able to get this bot tower. Yeah, but that's uh, yeah, that's true. He's gonna be able to take this. Maybe not this turn, this rotation, but with another wave of minions, he should be able to take it. It's not gonna be worth, but it's not gonna be all for naught, I guess. Right, exactly. Um, like, I mean, they're able to get something for their troubles, but they're just not quite keeping up there. However, let's look at the gold difference. Um, even despite the three towers going over. Despite the three towers going over for uh, IUK, Purdue is still up uh, 2,000 gold. So, and that's strictly due to farm. We don't have, go down here and look at the uh, farm differences between the two teams. Uh, most members of Purdue have almost twice their counterparts farm. Sorry, I got lost. I... No, it's <laughs> all right, man. Not not having not having the team names at the very top is slightly annoying. <laughs> I, I had to go searching for for a teammate. Yeah. Oh no, it's all good, dude. Um, yeah. No, I was just saying that uh, even despite the uh, tower lead, right? Um, Purdue is still two thousand gold ahead. Yeah, definitely doing so, a lot better on the farm jobs. Yeah. Well, I mean, they've been in lane, right? Uh, whereas IK prioritized, you know, hey, let's take these early towers. The only problem with taking those towers early is you force yourself to roam, and you almost have to be able to feed yourself off of those kills, right? Because uh, you're dedicating so many people to one lane. You can't survive if you're constantly sharing XP like that, you know? Um, all of the members of... Actually, let me double check myself there. Looks like, yeah, all of the members of Purdue have at least one level on their counterparts on IUK. So, and again, that's strictly due to uh, the fact that they've been XP sharing this entire time. So traveling around from lane to lane, not actually farming the way that they need to be. Um, they've been putting themselves at a disadvantage. Sure, they picked up these early towers, which are you know making them even stronger on their side, helping them out there. But um, as far as advantages, uh, advantages like in team fights, I don't know if they're paying off just yet. Ooh. Yeah, the fight down mid. Yep, ultimate coming out of lost person looks like the uh, body slam. Ultimate gonna. The ultimate's actually gonna miss onto uh, Holy Carp there, but he will end up going down uh, to the damage from Infernatus and lost person. That was a pretty good pickup from them. 
If they keep finding these uh, 1v2s, I think they're gonna be all right. Ooh, yeah. it looks like Lost Person going in for another grab. I'm not gonna actually find anything there for him though. So, um, at this point, they're trying to just uh, just let uh, Pseudo farm up. I think they've realized the uh, CS discrepancy and are trying to kind of reset themselves. Um, so that's, I mean, that's the entire reason he would send Pseudo down to the uh, bot lane by himself. Yeah, but that's that's putting Ari in a very tough position. Only 37 yep. farm, zero, two, and two. Yep. And it's all this roaming, you know, um, and not being able to actually uh, pick up the kills. Like, I'm surprised they haven't handed kills over to uh, the Mastin just yeah, yet. Yeah, I was about to say, it's only Infernus getting kills. Mm -hmm. I mean, which, Infernatus getting kills helps them, but not nearly as... Like, the gold's not going on to their damage dealers, which I think might cause a problem later. We'll have to find out. Uh, they were able to pick up that kill just between Infernatus and Lost Person, but I don't know if that's going to translate over to larger team fights, you know. Yeah. Uh, however, it, it does look like they are letting Mundo use Headbutt also farm by himself, which is helping him out. Um, I guess that means they're just going to use Mastin as a, um, a mobile charm, really. Uh, so, just kind of a CC machine for the second. Uh, he hasn't even completed his uh, Merlinomicon just yet, though. So, meanwhile, we do have the... Uh, oh. What is being built on Vlad here? All right, so he's got the Hextech Proto Belt already. Wow. Yeah, Produce is going to try to siege down this mid lane tower. And, and it's very possible they'll get it. I mean, Thieves already getting his ultimate, so... Yep. Have to it comes out. And the amount of damage coming out of Holy Carp right now is amazing. Uh, not having any fear is going to be running underneath the turret. Cool to try to get out of that. Infernatus uh, gonna go ahead and ult him backwards. Not able to really do a whole lot of damage though. I think he was just hoping that uh, he would be able to uh, instigate a fight there, but not really anything well, going on. Might end up getting one. Uh, a lot of Purdue is looking to. Oh no, they're just gonna back off after that ward. Yeah, I don't think they really want to mess with anything. Uh, the thing about Purdue is they know when to take their advantages. Like, the, right now in this game, they know when to take their advantages. Um, at least that's what it looks like. You know, they, I mean, like, they'll shovel lane while they're allowing um, Fredo and Sam to kind of beef up. I don't think they're looking to really cause any sort of big team fights. Because uh, as it stands, they would most likely lose. At least a, a 3v3. However, Infernatus getting a little bit too far ahead of himself is going to have to body slam out. Throws the Q backwards to try to zone off uh, the three members of Purdue and uh, gets out with his life. But that was uh, scary. He's going to have to. They're going to have to really take some faith to uh, be able to get these wards down. Yeah, Windrake going over to Purdue. I don't like Windrake. You know, it's not the best. It's. it's Really good for the comp that Purdue's running, uh, with the amount of roaming they're trying to do with uh, with Kane specifically. Um, but generally, not super high priority. Um, I mean, it's just not, you know, it doesn't it doesn't give you a lot of uh, those good out of combat stats. It helps you roam around the map a lot faster, so it's really good for these like uh, quick trade um, quick trade comps. So. Honestly, it would have been really good for Purdue to get a hold, or for IUK to get a hold of that. Because really, all they're trying to do is out rotate uh, on Purdue. Well, the plants have sort of stopped. It looks like they're just trying to get farm when they can. Yeah. Um, I think that's part of the problem of uh, shoving out these lanes a little bit too early, or uh, taking down these towers a little bit too early. At least all of them. You don't really have much of a safe lane for yourself. <clears throat> Number two is going to take out their last outer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. So now the uh, towers are all tied up here. Looks like uh, Purdue is still ahead of the curve with an almost uh, 3,000 gold lead there. So that's going to be uh, fairly rough. Uh, I think that's, that's actually pretty evident in uh, how much ground that IUK is able to, able to cover right now as far as wards. Um, they're afraid to really cross that river point. Yeah, you can definitely tell that by their ward sites. They only have two that are in river and none are in the jungle. Yeah. Um, which, I mean, I mean, you saw what happened when Infernatus tried to step over even into the river. 
I mean, he got immediately jumped on. So I think they're being wise there and not going too far, but it's it's pretty unfortunate. And I'm even actually... that, this one's going to be taken out. Yeah. What was that? I'm sort of surprised by the lack of vision, just in general. That yeah, like... um, I think that's something that I've noticed with a lot of these, uh, uh, you know, um, collegiate teams, or at least some of the ones that are uh, not quite as experienced, is they don't... They don't prize vision nearly as much as what you see in pro level. Um, and I think they're going to try to contest this, but... Ooh! Alright, it's going to end up being taken by Freddo. Lots of damage coming down onto Mast, and it's going to try to dash away from his life. You have uh, Gungu jumping into and out of... Uh, Pseudo there, Pseudo's gonna end up going down. Lost person also running away, not gonna be able to make it out. Looks like Thieves is gonna pick up that. The ultimate coming down onto Mastin, is he gonna be able to make it out? Nope. Too much damage also coming out of Holy Carp on this Vladimir. That is that is so much damage. That is terrifying. That was that was a four for four for one? Yeah, that was a four for one. Um Man. Yeah, see, uh, so you questioned the, uh, when we were in Champ Select, um, I know you asked about the cane pick and whether or not that was going to be really effective. This is exactly why the cane pick is effective. You know, he's got great jungle core. Um, he's able to invade extremely effectively. If you can get him ahead, uh, in team fights, he's an absolute terror. You have plenty of CC, plenty of mobility, plus that ultimate, you can just jump into somebody when you're low on health, and then jump out and be completely fine. You know, on top of being tanky, it's yeah. or at least pseudo tanky. <laughs> I think it, during that fight, he actually went into lost person instead of master. Yeah, I think he, he actually missed that one too. Um, I, I, at first I thought it might be you know a um, a purposeful choice, uh, but then afterwards they had to go back through and clean up everybody, and so yeah, I think he might have uh, misclicked that. Um, which, to be fair, they were standing all on top of each other, which it's sort of like the, uh, uh, what you do in a uh, Rengar alts, right? If you all stack on top of each other, uh, he can't target the ADC. Right. Yeah. Um, but no, I mean, that was, uh, still, a, even, even with that, a pretty clean fight coming out of Purdue. Uh, IUK is going to have to, uh, maneuver themselves around the map if they want to be able to contest anything with Purdue now. They're shoved back so far, and they've got really no room for vision. Wow. All right, so the ultimate coming out of Infernatus uh, is going to just push off Purdue's team right now. Not going to really do a whole lot for them, but... Ah, Mastin. The damage coming out of the car. Yeah. Uh, I mean... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. It's just insane. I'm like, mm -hmm. you saw that he, there was only one person top, and it's just like, you could jump yeah. on it, no problem. Mm-hmm. In fact, I think he actually could have gone for that kill. I don't think he was feeling all that hungry for it. Um, but he probably could have actually taken Mastin under turret there. Ooh. Four man lining up on the top side here. Leaving uh, Mundo use headbutt to kind of defend all by himself. Pseudo uh, stepping toe to toe here with Thieves. Gonna have to watch out. No rage bar built up just yet. But. Uh, if that comes up, Pseudo might be in a little bit of trouble. Huh. And uh, a lot of pinging coming out of uh, IUK as well. They know there's some wards down. They're going to have to do a lot to try to clear those things out. Thebes can just poke constantly. I'm like, he's, he was able enough to get Pseudo to back. Uh-huh. I... Significant and I think that's why... Oh. Right. I, I don't really think that Pseudo should really be... Uh, should be roaming by himself at this point. Um, or, or sitting in lane by himself at this point, Lost Person really needs to be traveling along with him, you know? Um, however, it does look like, uh, IUK may be looking for something here. The Charm going to land onto Thieves. Uh, not much coming of it, though. They're going to choose to back off instead, as it looks like, um, uh, is going for Dragon. And Dragon. <laughs> I actually... No, it's another Cloud Drake. Huh? That was Cloud Drake? Yeah. No, it was Ocean Drake. Oh, no, no, the next one's Ocean Drake. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, man, I always get their two symbols mixed up, and that is... It, it's so frustrating. Um, <laughs> I remember when they started changing the colors on uh, on those, because they used to be switched. Um, confused me for months. Uh, but no, we were talking about uh, dragons and their usefulness earlier. 
Honestly, I really like Ocean Drake, especially for uh, comps like Purdue. So the ones where you go in, you do a lot of poke, and then you can back off. Um, <clears throat> so because you regain so much health back, um, if you're going into these, uh, if you're going into these fights to be able to like, you know, or going up to these turrets and sieging down people, um, the fact that you can back off and gain most of your health back gives you so much sustained uh, turret damage over time. Yeah, I get that. Especially it looks like most of their comp has just been send one person top, one person bot, and then the other three roam. Pretty much, yeah. Um, in that way, they're making a lot of opportunities for themselves, you know? Um, so, uh, you let one lane push and see where exactly the other team gravitates to. If you look at these really deep wards that they've got, they're actually tracking uh, IUK's movement through the jungle. That way they can decide to make these plays in here. Ooh, Gungu looks like he's gonna go ahead and dive underneath the turret. Uh, we'll end up dashing back out. Uh, Sudo gonna end up getting taken down, however, by Sam Featherstorm coming out, trying to pick out the boss person. Yikes, looks like Infernatus is gonna pick up that kill for himself, however. Polymorph going down onto Infernatus again. Uh, Gungu getting caught up and jumping inside of Infernatus, gonna end up taking him out there. Uh, beautifully executed from the side of Purdue, even if Sam ended up going down to the front line. Yeah, just not enough damage coming out of the Zaya. But yeah, I mean, I think he did his job though there. Um, but there was, just wasn't a whole lot left to save him. The Feather Storm came out at kind of an awkward time, and that's sort of what led him to him uh, getting picked up there by Infernatus. Um, so he threw it out in order to avoid the uh, turret damage uh, when he really should have been probably looking for the uh, snare. Wow. And uh, Holy Carp gonna go ahead and blow up Mast in there underneath his own turret, walk off completely fine. Uh, man, Mast is not having fun this game. Yeah, currently 0 4 and 3, just 124. Uh, man, yeah, that's I mean that's gotta be rough. And, and a lot of it came uh, came from you know this the uh, early roams, um, not being able to keep Mast in lane very long. Um, just simply because uh, they were taking turrets so fast. Um, if they had been able to uh, maybe split up and try to hold down those lanes a little longer, they might be in a better position now. But, uh, ooh, it looks like Infernatus is going to get a little bit cheeky there. Uh, bump out Gungu. Make him run. Alright, Sam uh, looking for blood here on Lost Person. going to take the Blast Cone out over the wall and get himself to almost safety. Going to have to flash over the wall. <laughs> Taken out by Holy Carp, however. Uh, I don't think he saw the comic. They don't have any vision, uh, even sitting on their own side of the jungle. No. Like, which is just really sad. Yeah, I'm, yeah. With this 92 Vladimir, he can literally just do anything he wants now. There's so much mobility uh, on the side of Purdue, and it's, it's really hard for IEK to actually deal with it. Um, they're having to be placed so far back. Ooh, the ultimate going wide from Infernatus. Uh, I think he was trying to pick up something on a Holy Carp, but really it was uh, sort of a pipe dream. Ooh. Yeah. It's funny, every single time somebody walks up to uh, somebody in these in, in the woods here, I'm actually in the jungle here, I'm always afraid that uh, they're going to end up starting like a 2v1 and just annihilate them. Or uh, a 2v3. Ooh. How about a 5v1? Maybe <laughs> one of those two. Uh, Mastin, yeah, yeah, he was just looking for a little bit of vision and can't even pick that up for himself. Um, walked a little bit too far forward and got caught up by Purdue. Um, man, there's just not a whole lot that uh, IUK can do except it, right now, really, what they need to be doing is just picking up the vision close to base and trying as much as possible to farm up underneath these turrets, but it looks like that's not really going to be in the cards for them. Ooh, Belly Fall Thor from Infernatus is going to have to start walking backwards to get out of that. Uh, ultimate is up now for Thieves. They're going to be sitting here a little bit longer. I think they just want to siege uh, down this turret. They don't look like they're content uh, switching off to another objective. They don't have really any other lanes pushing, so uh, now they're going to go ahead and back off. Ooh, Thieves missing that jump over the wall. Holy Carp, however, might be in a little bit of trouble here. Uh, yeah. Caught out, stayed a little bit too long, is taken down by five members of IUK. The Featherstorm coming out from Sam, gonna get caught up by the Charm, Belly Flop, and downed by Sudo. They're gonna pick up two kills for themselves as Fredo goes down as well.
Nice, that. well done. Yep. Mastin's gonna get his first kill, and Triss is gonna pick up another two. That's like the perfect love story. You know, I mean, you wait this entire time for uh, something beautiful to happen, and that was a very well executed fight from them. Um, so Purdue stayed a little bit too long, and they recognize that. IUK recognizes that, decides to take advantage, and uh, take what they can, give nothing back. All right, it looks like more sieging going down on the bot side. Oh, but yeah, um, see, the times that that I've seen in this game that Purdue loses fights uh, has been when they decide to overstay, and they actually might pay for that here uh, with a uh, snuck Baron call. Infernatus looks like he's going a little bit low, but as of right now, Purdue hasn't quite caught on. It looks like two members are going, but Fredo going to get uh, nabbed there a little bit by Mastiff. they got to try to get out of this pit before... Uh, ooh. That's all right. Well, it, was, it ends up being picked up uh, by Pseudo, but Pseudo might also go down. Mask needs to get himself out, or else uh, risk losing this, the last Baron. Oh, my mistake. It is also on Mundo Yu's headbutt. Wow, yeah, that was a really risky Baron call. Looks like it almost paid off, though. It was, it was a yeah, very um, close call. It almost, I mean, they do still have it on two members, so if they can last this one siege, they might still have a chance to be in it. I'm not going to call them out of it yet. You know, obviously, I mean, they've got Baron. Um, they still have two towers up. They only lost one in hip, so they are absolutely still in this. However, uh, I don't think they can afford to be making risky calls like that anymore. Um, instead of attempting to bait, they, I think they got a little bit... Uh, Two Cavalier trying to take uh, that Baron. Ooh, looks like the uh, Ferox Snare coming in. He's going to nab up Thieves. Uh, however, he is going to get ulted by the Lulu. It looks like the Ari Charm is going to land on Thieves. Meanwhile, Mastin gets blown up. Uh, Thieves goes down as well. The sustained damage coming in from Sam. They are going to end up putting up the damage onto Mastin, followed up by another kill onto uh, Kane from Pseudo. So. They're going to have to just continue trying to uh, blast away all of these minions. Holy Carp getting in, trying to get some damage down. That way uh, Sam can uh, take down that turret. They are going to end up doing that. It is a two for two? Yes, two for two. Yeah. Um, that was actually really well played by IUK. I think that was probably the best thing they could have... Uh, the best they could have hoped for. Or with the way that uh, everybody got kind of caught out. Um, lost person pulled the wrong person in the very beginning of that one. I think he probably, I, I think he was aiming for, uh, Holy Carp and ended up, uh, catching himself, uh, one of them Nars. I don't think catching a Holy Carp would have been as effective, do you think? Uh, depends on how exactly they could have laid their CC down and how fast, uh, Holy Carp is going to be able to get that pull off, you know. Um, I definitely think that pulling thieves was the not target. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, I, maybe maybe he was going for it. Maybe he just wanted to hug. Um, all right, and then it, it looks like they're just kind of gonna go ahead and reset the planes for now. Um, yeah, and more of the vision fight, you know. Um, IUK is just having such a hard time trying to lay down that vision. They do have the right idea laying it in these forward bushes. Um, making sure that they have at least this vision ahead of uh, the red buff, right? Because that's where they really need to be watching out for people. They should not be trying to move much farther outside of their base than that. Alright, and yeah, yep, more sieging. This game has it, this game has actually turned into just just uh, protect the towers um, at this point. I think that's all they can, really can do. They have no picks. They got no Ooh, all right, so it looks like there's a team fight known down. Steve's gonna end up being taken down first by Pseudo. However, the ultimate count is going to end up taking very effortly, very well on the side of IDK. Featherstorm coming out takes also another huge chunk out of IDK. Is going to end up picking off Infernatus. Followed up by, ooh, Mastin and Lost Person coming up next. 
Pseudo will be the last to fall underneath the barrage of Holy Carp and Sam. Uh, that is so much damage coming down all at once. And that's game. I think that, that is. Simply... That is absolutely game right there. You're right. I mean, cast the carnage. There's uh, there's nothing I can really say about that. It, maybe if maybe if Carp wasn't 14 and what three, that fight could have gone different. But yeah, I I mean you you can say that. I I think so. Um, the um, the amount that was the the amount of uh uh gold and items that were sitting on uh on Carp at that point. Um. It's really hard to do really anything to it. He was he was he was so far ahead. What? Let me see. One, two, four items built uh, at the end for uh, Carp, while only two items and boots were completed on Mastin. Um, so there's not much of an answer Mastin can really have. Plus two levels down, you know. Um, that's that's a lot. Uh, that's that's a lot to uh, be able to stand up against, um, especially when you're such a squishy um, mid game mage. Um, one of those, you know, uh, heavy hitting um, uh, tank mage, you know, going up in, the, in that ma matchup, you're going to have a rough time. But anyway, that was a fantastic game uh, from both sides. Uh, it's the best of threes here tonight, isn't it? That, uh, uh, yeah, it is. Can, it's okay. just... Yeah, cool. All right. Well, I guess we can look forward to uh, another awesome set of games. You're, we'll, we're going to load up real soon not entirely sure when um but i believe we will go on break is that what we're doing uh yeah oh, cool uh yeah no we're gonna go on break here for a bit guys so uh make sure to stick around we've got a awesome game up next uh we'll uh yeah we'll meet you in game two all right stick around <laughs> 